That sign reads, Surprise Valley, uh, Hot Springs. Take my word for it, I know it's kind of far away. But look at this amazing view I just passed. I came from that town straight ahead. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. I came from that town up there through that mountain pass and, and over a bit. But look at how amazing, <laughs> look at how amazing this sunset is. I mean, it just like blows me away. And also, I wanted to show you something because there is a trail of steam which was going down. I noticed it first up there. And then I saw it right here. And then I saw it went across. And you know what that is? There's steam over there too. The steam, ladies and gentlemen, is hot springs water. This is the runoff from the, from the hot springs. That's how much water comes out of the earth naturally. And as you can tell, I'm super excited <laughs> because if I wanted to, I could just jump in right here with these little tadpoles or minnows or something. Oh my gosh, and it's warm too. Oh my god. 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 This is outstanding. Now, like I said, I haven't had a shower in several days. And that is not something that I am excited about. However, <laughs> I'm totally okay with natural hot springs. I just have never done it with like animals in there and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you can see all these things. Yeah. Those are little tadpoles. But the water is plenty warm and I can't imagine that it's polluted. Could it be? I mean, it shouldn't be. It's just the runoff from up there. And I know these are cattle fields and everything, but um, I mean, I think I'm okay with it. But I did hear there is something called microscopic red lice. When me and Lucas went in the hot springs for the second time when we went snowboarding, and we both were itchy and had a hard time sleeping. I believe <laughs> we were in some kind of water with microscopic lice and because they, they bit him and made his skin all red and bumpy and made me all itchy. Um, so, I don't know. Let's go inquire. Let's see what's going on in the hot springs. I know I'm on a budget, but I'm also not a cheapskate. So, it's like 10 bucks or something. That's all right. Well, it is closed. Uh, it seems like they closed kind of early and they, they probably live on the property here too. Um, but while we're here, might as well just go have a peek. Uh, by the way, there are like, I don't know, a half dozen gigantic plumes of steam from a bunch of neighboring places. Um, I don't know if you can see it off in the distance. There's like a little hut right there, steam right there. Um, this is maybe the source. Um, that's really hot water. Very, very, very hot water. Cool. So it looks like that's pumped all throughout everywhere. Oh, you know what? I think this is a place where you have like private um, pools at the motel. Cause it said something about um, like a private kind of area or something like that. So either I go walking off in the distance into the field, try and find something, or I just say, I'm happy enough with a little <laughs> roadside uh, rub down. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, to be determined. All right, guys, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm really gonna take a, a shower 
or a bath in the runoff water. And I'm gonna film it too. <coughs> um, ground is a little cold, not gonna lie, but it's not too bad. So this is like the most hobo thing I've done yet. Don't worry, there'll be more. Here's the spot. Got Dr. Bronner's all natural soap. So if anybody is offended that I'm bathing in the water, it is gluten-free, organic, all natural, and uh, cruelty-free. So um, also, you gotta remember, we used to be cavemen and we probably bathed ourselves or soaked in water just like this. By the way, my butt keeps getting poked by grass. If that's not called mission accomplished, then I don't know what is. Cause that was awesome. <laughs> and it was so warm, it was just really silty and kind of spooky scary. Like putting my feet into just like, I don't know, the great, the great abyss. Um, I'm questioning why I went barefoot right now. I, it kinda hurts. Totally and completely rejuvenated. There's really not many things better than taking a shower after many days on the road, but I would say a hot springs bath does top a shower in my book. Okay, so like I said before, that uh, chocolate water uh, parking spot, tonight that's gonna be home. Before it gets too dark, I want to show you where I am parking in relation to this massive body of water over here. Um, I uh, am outside of a town, I forget what it's called, C Cedar Cedarville I think, Cedarville Happy, Happy Valley, um, something like that, I have to double check. But there's this road that goes from the town over there, which I came out of the mountains over there, and then the hot springs is over there where that light is, if you can see that right over there. And there's just a bunch of pull-offs, like everywhere. And the thing is, like when you're in a small town as opposed to a big city, <clears throat> clearly there's never gonna be a meter maid coming around here. And I would bet that even if I was parked illegally, that whatever sheriff, dude, police guy, A, doesn't care, and B, probably has something better to do, or maybe he just like, you know, like, just goes home for the night. Like, there's no patrol at night, you know what I mean? So, this is where I'm gonna be. I'm really freaking excited for this. This is gonna be awesome. Um, and I'm also a little hungry, so let's go eat. This is tonight's dinner. We got a mixture of minestrone and chicken noodle, uh, low salt. That's what it looks like when you throw them together haphazardly. Um, that's all I gotta say for today. I did come up with a uh, ending video quote or mantra to live by, but uh, I forgot what it was, so perhaps tomorrow. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate all the support and all the views and comments. Uh, I've, I've put my heart, soul, and my whole life into this project for your enjoyment and also for my traveling pleasure, so hopefully it is a mutually beneficial arrangement we have here. Uh, if you guys could be so kind as to uh, tell one of your friends about me uh, or family members um, or maybe leave it on their computer at work uh, or at home, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, that's the only way this is going to survive in the future is more subscriptions. So thank you for watching. Catch you guys tomorrow.